there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Devin Harris has checked in for Dallas. Lynn against Harris. Four on the shot clock. Outside, but two. Can't get it to go. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Next up for them, the Bucks in Milwaukee. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And the basket by Harris. Yeah, strong move there. Big points on that possession. In need of a bucket late. This is the guy you want to go to. Outside, Walker. And he uses the glass on the layup. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Nowitzki a screen. Matthews goes in. And that one comes up a bit short. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Kaminsky. And the three off target. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. Three from Matthews. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his third assist on the night. Charlotte has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And Walker kicks to Lynn. To the middle. Sanders dishes to Lynn. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. And it's Harris off the drive. That puts them in the lead. And the Mavericks lead by one. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. This game is close as it's been. We really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. A shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. And it's good off the glass. And you're starting to see some tired legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here, Clark. And the Mavericks call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Caleb Canales said to the team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? Shots good by Walker. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Hornets. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Wide open look. Rebound by Williams. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. The kick out to Matthews. Parsons on the wing. All sorts of time. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Batum's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Inside, here's Lynn. And so he owns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, Jeremy Lynn has been getting it done. Ten points and 11 dimes. And, guys, really impossible to say where he's been better, offensively or defensively. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he's not missed a beat at either end. That's obvious. Mavericks trail by five. Williams passes to Parsons. Williams a screen. Dallas moving it around. And here is Lynn. And the officials signal the backward violation. Not very careful then. Yeah, they're starting to go in the wrong direction in terms of turnovers. It's slowly becoming a problem. 
Outside Williams, dishes it to Matthews. Nowitzki right side. With the fadeaway, and right through it goes. I love how he used his height advantage on that shot. And he had the nice soft touch with it too. And Walker kicks to Batum. There's the pick. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That one is on Stoudemire. First free throw is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Outside Williams. There's the dish to Matthews. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Matthews has got 20. <laughs> wow, risky shot there, size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Screen by Jefferson. Here's Lynn. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Nowitzki with the screen on Walker. Williams dishes to Nowitzki. Nowitzki a screen. Parsons passes to Nowitzki. That's good. Nowitzki's got four points in the quarter. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Walker with it. Screen by Jefferson. Walker goes in. The kick out to Anderson. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Hornets lead by six. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. In the corner, Parsons with it. Stoudemire, the screen. And Parsons kicks to Stoudemire. A clear look for Parsons. Misses off the left iron. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Shot's good by Walker. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. Picked by Williams. Novitski for three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Lynn's got three rebounds so far in the game. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Jefferson, a screen on Matthews, inside. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Charlotte leading by seven. Outside, win. Pass to Anderson from 17 feet out. Stoudemire grabs the miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Nowitzki drives in. Soft touch off the glass. Nowitzki's got six here in this quarter. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario, really, for him. Point blank range and also a size advantage. There's the screen. Here's Lynn. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Michael Kidd Gilchrist is checked in for Walker. And here are the Mavericks now. They trail by 7. And Williams, here we go. 
Lays it up and banks it in. That's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. 135 left to play here in the fourth. Lynn kicks to Jefferson. Oh, oh, Big time finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim, too, just for, for good measure. Yeah, but guys, nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating every now and then. Dallas calls timeout. They're behind by seven. 129 left in the fourth. One twenty nine left to play in the final quarter. Stoudemire the screen. Here's Novitsky. Batum grabs the miss. Batum's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Tries from 16 and Charlotte again with the bucket. You know it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. The well, shot's good from Stoudemire. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Buffalo bully ball right there, partner. <laughs> okay. Getting a little physical. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like yeah, that reference. Yeah. Jefferson, a screen on Williams. Lynn dishes to Batum. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Parsons. The rebound by Jefferson. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Nobody near Kid Gilchrist. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Williams kicks to Parsons. Good on the three-point shot. And an intentional foul right there. Darren Williams. That's his second first foul. And here are the Hornets that now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his third first foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Jeremy Lin. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven point lead. So it gets them both, and it's an eight point game. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by eight. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And, and look, this one's out of reach. I don't know what they're thinking with this timeout. Neither do I. I mean, maybe they're going over their plans for after the game. Who knows? But let's just get out of here. <laughs> Outside Jefferson. Outside Lynn. Back to Jefferson. He connects. Didn't take their time in wrapping this game up. They came out with a sense of urgency. Nice ending spurt to polish it off. Once they had him on the ropes, they started throwing haymakers at him. <laughs> the whole knockout blow. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Al, this was a game where you guys seemed to have a distinct advantage inside. How do you evaluate how well the team played as a whole? Um, we made some mistakes. You know, they made us pay. But uh, we just kept pounding the ball inside, and uh, we know we um, our match them. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, thank you. So why don't we take a look now at our Jordan player of the game? He had an outstanding fourth quarter where he really shined, pouring it on heavy down the stretch. Well, he showed us just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game and the building was stunned. You saw people leaving early, throwing popcorn, throwing hot dogs, spilling soda. 
He put on a CSDP. 